My mum would be mad at me for saying it, but basically my involvement into the Jewish community was nil. There was kind of that, that part missing, something I'd really grown up with and had been a huge part of my life um, for a number of years really wasn't there. I was looking for new friends and I was also looking to have a Jewish community. There's a gap between people um, expressing themselves Jewishly in college through the various organizations that are there and then the time that they get married and settle down and have kids. There's not really a life moments that you would need to have a Jewish space in between that time. I grew up here in this area and I, and I just moved back and I was kind of, you know, looking for like a social scene. After I left high school, when I had networks of Jewish friends, I sort of lost touch in a way with the Jewish community. The Jewish community has done a great job of creating and building Jewish life up through college, but there's a growing need post-college as people are getting uh, married later and settling down uh, later in life, uh, we started getting emails and interest from, from young adults all over the world saying the same thing. We're young, we want to take on uh, Jewish leadership roles, and there's nothing here for us. So we want to build it ourselves, and that's how Moshe House was born. The Moshe House kind of provided a re-entry um, into the Jewish community and Jewish activities and, you know, synagogue and, yeah. Here I am. It's every single day is different. Just like every single program we put on is different. At the house we try to run a, a, a wide range of events. We provide a space where we invite people to come into our home, both our Jewish and our non-Jewish friends, and spend time together in a Jewish home. Well, new people will meet each other, maybe some networking will get done, and you know, it's just kind of a laid back thing. I think that it's a testament to both our amazing cooking, but also, you know, what a Jewish home can actually do for people in terms of inviting them, welcoming them in, and allowing them to just be together. After having lived here and had this experience where I've really been a leader in the community and been able to shape experiences for myself and other people, I really kind of hope to continue that in the future. Today there are 54 Moisha houses spanning 14 countries on four continents. It's the largest organization in the world serving young Jewish adults after college. And uh, I think what you'll find is that in the next 20, 30 years, the Jewish community will be led by those who have been nurtured and grown and learned through Moisha House.